Hello everyone, it's Frosty back here today with an all new video and this is gonna be a pretty short video because uh, today I will be showing you how you can fix repeating or resetting or restarting sort of downloads that are happening inside of Epic Games Launcher Beat any game. Sometimes that it happens that when you whenever you are trying to install any of the software or games inside from the Epic Games Launcher, it generally goes over to 100% then restarts at zero. Again, it goes like 50% and sometimes restarts at zero. So how you can fix it? Uh, this is the quiet video for you. All right, so once you are here inside Epic Games Launcher, the first thing that you need to do is to check which whatever game you want to install and there are a few things that you actually have to do before the first thing that i really would, would like you to do is to update your epic games launcher by going into the settings and like here in mine says restart and update because i just downloaded the latest update for it and make sure that you're using the latest updated version of epic games launcher so let me update it okay so once you're here this probably is the latest updated version so make sure that you have done that before also, the second thing that you actually want to do is to make sure to run this uh, Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. Simply right click and run it as an administrator. Once you have done that, come in here and go to your library and click whatever game you want to install. So in mine, Fortnite is already installing, so I'm going to be trying something else. Say for example, I want to install Just Cause 4. So things, uh, let me uh, go to uh, more smaller ones. <laughs> Let's say you want to install Watch Dogs or even Fortnite. So the process is exactly the same. So we're going to click on install. Now here, what you actually have to do, where it uh, tells you to choose the path wherever this game is going to install, you actually have to go inside your PC and here, now you got to make sure of two things. The first thing that wherever your Epic Games launcher is installed, do not install it there. Say for example, you have Epic Games installed in C drive. So that's where the basically every software are installed. So in mine, it is installed here. So do not install it there else choose some else drive say for example you're gonna go to e or g whatever you have just simply click on that and also you're gonna make sure that those drives even if you're installing on a, a separate drive make sure that the, those are ntfs if you're on a hard drive that must be an ntfs because it just it won't work without ntfs then simply click on install so i won't be installing it by the way so once you have done that it pretty much might be good to go but before you do that make sure that you have done this one more step before that head into your firewall simply search firewall and you might be seeing Windows Defender Firewall. Click onto that. In here, click on Turn Windows Fire Defender or Windows uh, Defender Firewall on and off. Click onto that and disable your firewall for a while. Click OK, then minimize it, start installing and it will work. Also, do not forget that you re-enable your firewall after that because disabling the firewall could cause serious problems. So make sure that you re-enable your firewall. But I do hope this one, which I just showed you, will automatically fix the issue. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe and share and thanks for watching.